iOS 15 is finally here and with iOS 15 all the new features that we have anticipated for so long. But there is one feature that I personally been waiting for longer than all the other features and that feature is not even displayed on Apple's website and that is a feature that will make it possible to enable so I get notified if I leave an air tag behind if I forget it somewhere and I think that that is super useful. For example my keys. I'm rushing in the morning, you're getting outside the door, you jump on your bike and then you bike all the way to work just to discover that you lost your keys behind. And you have to bike all the way back home. So let's try this feature out and let's see how it works, if it works and when we're gonna get notified. So let's put my jacket on. I'm gonna forget my keys here. And let's see if I'm maybe gonna get all the way home before the Apple find my app gonna notify me that I actually forgot my keys. And just to check this feature, if we go into the find my app, I'm gonna go to Matt's keys and then if I scroll down I have this new option that is called notify when left behind and it's on and when I check that one it says that okay notify me except at so I can set exceptions for example I don't want to be notified when I leave my home if I don't have my kids with me if you have an air tag on your kids. So that is super useful to be able to set those locations but in my case I don't want to have exceptions from leaving these keys behind anywhere so they should notify me when I leave these keys behind at my office. Okay, so here are my keys and I'm gonna start a timer so we know how long time it takes before we're getting a notification. So, uh, bye bye keys. Soon I would be outside Bluetooth range. So let's see how this actually gonna turn out. I'm a little bit skeptic actually. So I'm definitely not where my keys are anymore, that's for sure. And I'm way outside the Bluetooth range. Now it's one and a half minutes since I lost my keys. I left them behind and now I'm strolling home. I'm getting into my car maybe. I'm jumping on my bike. I'm really looking forward to go home. Now it's two minutes and 30 seconds since we left our keys. And I'm definitely outside Bluetooth range. How long should it take before I get a notification? This feels a little bit too long. I remember seeing one of the earlier tests we did with the AirTag, we know that we are getting a position update every, I think it was every seventh minute. So who knows if it's gonna take seven minutes before I actually get an update. <laughs> keys behind. You're gonna get pretty far in seven minutes. I know for sure that many people, if you're living in a bigger city, you may be getting on the highway, you're not even gonna have a possibility to turn around in another 10 minutes. You wasted 20 minutes. Now we are up to three minutes and 30 seconds. And the thing is that if this works, it would be great. But there is one thing that I've been missing. Let's, oh, something vibrated. What was that? Is that a notification? No, it's not, it was something else. There is one thing that I've been missing all since the Apple Watch came and that is a feature to notify me whenever I leave my... Oh! Three items were left behind! Wow! It worked! Now it took four minutes and 20 seconds until I got a notification. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. This is not the end of the story. Keep watching and you're gonna see what's gonna happen. Let's check the notification. If I can find it, here it says three items were left behind. These items are no longer detected near you. They were last seen near Frihamnen and that is exactly where we are. And if I click that one, it says my bike was left behind. This item was seen. Aha. Oh, okay. And what can I see? I can't really see what I left behind. Left behind at Frihamnen. Don't notify me. Oh, so it is all these items that I have here on the screen. I left my bike behind. I left the two Apple. Oh yeah, that is the AirTag I sent to Apple earlier. And my work cards. But the weird thing is that my keys doesn't show up here. Why doesn't my keys show up in this list? Let's see if we go into my keys. Oh, it says free. I'm the last seen five minutes ago. But why haven't my keys informed me that I don't have my keys anymore? That is super strange. 
Why didn't I get notified about my keys? Did I do anything wrong? Well, what I said earlier was that the feature that I'm missing most since I got my Apple Watch, that is a feature so I get notified if I leave my, I'll forget, my phone behind. And that is still not there. I don't understand why. Because there are so many times I put my phone somewhere, I leave, and then holy crap, where is my phone? And I have my watch on me, but I haven't got notified. Once I actually was in Vancouver at the airport, I discovered that I don't have my phone with me. And if that stupid Apple Watch would have notified me that, oh, you're not connected to your phone anymore, maybe you should look for it. Then it would have been very easy. Now instead I needed to send that stupid phone via mail to the new destination where I was going. So this actually worked. I got notified that I left my things behind. I didn't get notified that I left my keys behind though. And that is a little bit strange. I think we maybe should redo this test. Let's go back and connect to the keys so we can see what's going on here. I would prefer to have an icon here somewhere showing that the left behind feature is enabled. Now I have to go in here and check. So that is on, no exceptions. To Apple, that is this layer tag that I sent to Tim Cook that I actually got back. That is for another video that you can check up in the corner. These are actually the air tags that are still floating around somewhere. That is the air tag in Ottawa River that I still haven't been able to collect. And this is the air tag that is in Son Ron River. And that was last seen on August 17th. Now we know for sure that the only ones we have enabled is Matt's keys and work cards. And then same as we did before, let's turn on the timer. And now I would say that I'm outside of Bluetooth range. And now it's about 20 seconds after I left my keys and my cards. Now we are up to three minutes and 40 seconds. So that is three minutes and 20 seconds. So let's see what happens. If it's maybe four minutes, that is the critical point when you're gonna get notified that you have left an air tag and the things you have attached the air tag to behind. Personally, I think that four minutes, that is a little bit long. As I said, what if you get into your car, you're getting onto the highway, that takes a couple of minutes maybe. Of course, it's a lot better to get it after four minutes than doesn't get a notification at all. There is about four minutes since we lost connection and I still haven't got a notification. Now I haven't had my phone locked though. I don't know, can that be a factor to take into consideration here? I don't think so, it shouldn't be. I mean, what if you are reading your news or watching YouTube, watching YouTube, preferably watching YouTube, of course you should get notified even if you're doing things on your phone if you're leaving something behind. And now we are approaching seven minute mark and still no notification. Apple, what's going on? Why is this so unreliable? Now we should definitely get a notification if it was updated every seven minutes. Let's go into the Find My App. Let's do that. Let's go into my Find My App to see if it says that we were actually connected to the phone when we were up to the office again. Well, it says that we were connected seven minutes ago. What? That is super strange. Let's give this a third and last try to see if we can get anything. And instead of just walking around here, we're gonna walk the same path as I did before. I'm pretty sure the path doesn't play any role here, but I'm still gonna do it. And let's check to find my app to see if it says that we are connected. And now it says with you. So now they are definitely connected to my phone. Let's leave those here, let's close the door. Let's start the timer. So while we're waiting for the time to go, please let me know in the comment box what other iOS 15 features you are most interested and excited about so I can make a test and see if they work for you so you don't need to or so you know that they work if you want to use them or, well, just let me know whatever feature you like and I'm looking forward to. I've been walking all the way from this building over here and here's the bus stop. What if I already got on the bus? Apple. Why is this taking so long? It's 4 minutes and 18 seconds. So we are up to about 4 minutes again. We would like to get notified when we leave something behind so we don't need to go all the way home discovering that, oh, I forgot my keys at work. I would like to get notified before I get home. That is the entire purpose, isn't it? 5 minutes and 50 seconds. Can it be that those air tags doesn't have the latest firmware? 291 for the keys and for my cards, 
291 for my cars also and if I check the firmware on my bike it's also 291 so we have the same firmware on all of them so why don't I get a notification this is super annoying so what I'm gonna do is that I'm not gonna stay here anymore I need to go back into the office I'm gonna take the air tag that I sent to Apple I'm gonna enable that one in the Find My App to notify me when I leave that one behind. I'm gonna grab my keys, I'm gonna grab my cards, and I'm gonna leave, and I'm gonna go home, and I'm gonna prepare dinner for my family. And then I'm gonna see if I get notified anytime regarding that air tag. Let's do that. Apple, this is your last chance. Now we're gonna take the air tag I sent to you guys. So this is super weird. Now I just got a notification that this item is no longer detected near you and now it was 4 minutes and 30 seconds so I don't know there is something about 4 minutes or I wasn't far enough away from the air tag maybe Here we know there is both time and distance that plays into when you get a notification that you have left an air tag behind so now I'm gonna take my bike and I'm gonna put this air tag inside this bike garage and then I get a bike away from here as fast as I can to see if it's actually the 500 meters range or maybe 400 meters range that plays the difference and is the tipping point when I'm gonna get a notification because I don't think that the four minute or five minute is actually the limit of this so uh, Let's do this. I just got a notification. It's one minute and 32 seconds since I left my backpack or the air tag that is symbolizing my backpack. And I got a notification that is left behind. And if I check the radius, it's about 350 meters away from the place where I dropped it. So that means that you can get a notification pretty soon if the Find My Network wants me to get the notification. However, after that, I made a couple of more trials. And at one point, I got a notification after 1 minute and 45 seconds. Then I was 750 meters away. After that, I did another test. Then I got a notification after 3 minutes and 1000 meters away. And the last one, I got a notification after 4 minutes and 11 seconds. And then we were one kilometer away and the last time when I got it after one kilometer I actually had to find my app open so I got the position update all the time so there was no delay there so as far as I'm concerned there is no really conclusion when or where you're gonna get these notifications you will get it before or later but there is no real limit when it comes to time and there is no real limit when it comes to distance so the only thing you know is that before or later you will get a notification but unfortunately sometimes you will probably be too far away already so well if you like this video please give it a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already bye